Okay, um, I'm gonna tell you why Final Fantasy VII, uh, the original on PlayStation 1, of why that is the best Final Fantasy game ever made. Um, and the main reason is the design is the best, and that's why it, it is the best game ever made in terms of the visual design of what a good Final Fantasy game looks like. And I can mention something. Um, in terms of uh, uh, all different fantasy games, uh, they were mostly uh, pixel uh, related, and 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 I'm not a I'm not a fan of what they did with Super Nintendo because uh, you have like more of a midget look to the main character sprites of your character, even if uh, they can uh, have humans that have more realistic proportions in the artwork. Uh, if you look at Final Fantasy Four or Six. I mean, Six mainly overdid that stuff, but that's what I mean. I didn't like those games because of that. I don't think the visual designs are good, but I'm not trying to disrespect the, what this became as a company that started from something small to something big. And that's pretty amazing to what it uh, became later on. But yeah, I don't think they are good. Um, I do think that Final Fantasy 1, 2, and 3, it worked for that one because you're mostly fighting monsters, so it doesn't look out of place. Um, but uh, I guess uh, elitism in Final Fantasy games it do hasn't really helped much. Unlike other games like uh, Devil May Cry games, I think it at least if you were to say that you like the 2013 reboot of De Devil May Cry, then I, I at least would think that's an okay position to take because it's not like the the game itself um, is changing. It's just the hack and slash game. It's what it's known for. Mm. Unlike Final Fantasy games, where it changes, or the the main idea of a Final Fantasy game is to change, uh, and that's what they do with every game in a sense. So I guess it's why elitism doesn't really help Final Fantasy fans or the games, at least uh, in terms of what I have experienced with this series. Um, but yeah, um, but just personally, I don't like four and six the way it, it looks. Um, because uh, I just I just think it's out of place that you look this small and the soldiers or the the normal looking enemies that are humans they look you know more realistically proportioned. I just think it looks out of place and uh, that's what I mean. I don't I don't like the design. I, I'm just gonna say it. I don't like the design in four and six uh, in terms of the original Super Nintendo. I just think um, uh, I think it looked bad, but. Uh, I just want to share that opinion. I'm not going to rant more on it uh, later on. But um, but back to Final Fantasy VII. I'm going to say why this game is the best. And the reason is um, Final Fantasy VII, um, uh, in the overhead view, you actually look like Lego characters. But in battle, uh, you look realistic. And that's the beauty of Final Fantasy VII is... The, the limitation there is used correctly in terms of the PlayStation 1 game. And I mean PlayStation 1, I don't mean the PC or console remaster, because they added mouths in the overhead view of the LEGO characters. And the reason why I don't like that is because the more limited they look, the actually better it is in the overhead view. Even if the original in intent was to give them mouths, I just think it was better to just don't have mouths at all. Because it makes them look like they are very limited, and the, and it gives the illusion of the overhead view of the vastness of it, even if it's uh, small. And then you go into battle, and it expands the view. And that's why I mean, that's why Final Fantasy VII on PlayStation One is the best game ever made, uh, hands down. There is no question about it. This is the definitive version of what a Final Fantasy game should be like. Uh, it just it just makes sense. It just is the surreal effect of a fancy game and the imagination it does. I, I think, um, I at least, I think this is the best desi designed one. Uh, even if you aren't a fan of the story, the design itself is gold. That's what I mean. I think this is what a fancy game should be like, in a sense. And, uh, yeah. Um, but if I... But I may maybe do individual reviews of our fantasy games from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 uh, in the future in terms of just individual videos of the game. Uh, but I just want to give um, give a reason why Fantasy 7 is such a great game. Um, uh, thank you for listening and bye.